most of us think that it's always got to be behind the pulpit and it's always got to be in words but sometimes your life your life is a testimony the way you live your life before people the way um you go out and tell others you know um sometimes you you don't have to talk but sometimes you show it somebody see the blessings in your life how you What's up my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love and I am back with the cooking video. That's right y'all, I actually stayed home today and I am going to cook in my kitchen for the second time? No, the third time since I moved in July 22nd. So yeah, um, I'm going to do a Usually it'd be a cabbage and kibasa type of thing, you know, but it's going to be a cabbage and egg rich turkey sausage because that's what I like to work with and also it's um, low carbs and just something I can show y'all how quick it is and simple it is um, when you're on the low carb diet. So I'm going to get started in a few. Stay tuned. Got to get my stuff out. Boo. Okay, y'all, so y'all see me chopping cabbage, CT. I want that, uh, rinse that out right quick. So if you rinse out that part. Everybody cut cabbage a certain way. I know, I cut it this way. This is the way I cut it. Um, dang, Tina. Dang, Tina. And, uh, I got, like I said, two heads. Two heads of cabbage and two um, packs of sausage. I have turkey sausage, y'all. Um, I like um, I like turkey sausage. This is going to be rinsed out in that pot. So I'm not putting no cut up cabbage that ain't rinsed or washed off inside the pot. Get it right, y'all. I'm a clean cook. I'm a very clean person. Particular how I like my things um, done. Y'all, cabbage and kibasa is a meal that's been going around a long time in this family. Um, and uh, I love it because you got the choice if you want carbs with it or if you don't. And what I mean by that is when I'm putting cabbage and sausage together in a boil, you know, you got all them good seasonings in it, y'all. Like, you know, seasoning salt, lorries, and uh, I kind of like it. Tear it from here. Um. Anyway, uh, garlic salt. You know, just a type of different season. But you can put, like I said, uh, carbs with it, like cornbread. I used to make this with cornbread all the time, and uh, like a yellow rice or something. You know. I'll put like a yellow rice with it, y'all, or like a Spanish little rice, you know, like a dirty rice or something like that. But preferably, I would like to put it with a, um, let me look up and talk to y'all. I want y'all to see me talk, I'm talking to y'all, but, um, I'm at home cooking today, y'all. All that out, out to eat and all that, man. I bought some cabbage and kibasa. Anyway, like I was saying, y'all, it's so good. Cabbage and kibasa is so good. Like with the yellow rice, like I said, and uh, uh, a cornbread. Preferably Jiffy in my house. My kids love uh, Jiffy. I do know how to make homemade cornbread, y'all. Buttermilk cornbread. I know how from my mother. My mother taught me and, um, how to make homemade cornbread. But we like Jiffy in this house because, you know, um, I just don't add the egg and milk to it. You know, some people add sugar to it, but I don't. I do add, however, when I'm making like two boxes of it with two eggs and two cups of milk, I add a stick of butter in it. Boy, does it be so buttery. I add it in the batter and it cooks that way. Y'all try it that way. It's so good. You talking about <laughs> some kids won't stop eating it, but I ain't made it in a long time, you know. Because for some reason, I don't know what's up with me. I just, just don't cook like I used to. And now I'm getting back in the habit of cooking all the time. Because I was that type of wife and mother that 
you know, old maid, should I say? Uh, old maid way, always cooking in the kitchen. And ain't nothing wrong with it, y'all. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy it. You know, cooking meals every day, getting big as a doggone house. Cause my ex-husband was the type of man that he eat leftovers maybe uh, a day over. Other than that, next day, after that first day, or the, I mean the second day I cooked it, the next day was gonna be, uh, what you cooking today? Yeah, so I was always in the kitchen and then my kids was always, oh, can you bake those homemade peanut butter cookies, mom, please? But you haven't made them in a while. Yeah, I haven't made them in a while. But I, I'm gonna make those two. But uh, I'm gonna try. I'm trying to cut back, y'all. To see, um, I'm doing this low carb thing, and uh, I have to do a neutral bullet. Uh, I'm gonna do that. You know, my smoothies, stuff like that. When I get in the uh, mood for that, you know what I'm saying? Cause um, right now, I mean, I'm, I'm. I'm getting to the place where I'm, I'm tired. You can't be tired of eating, but I'm to the place where I'm, I'm tired of going out to eat. I have been like doing no carbs for a month now. <sighs> uh, three days in a row though. No, I'll give it four days out of that month. I did have low carbs. Like like stuff like, uh, you know, I had some Doritos. I just had to have a taste for them, them corn chip Doritos. I had those tortilla chips inside my, my, uh, my uh what you call it what you call it? nachos and then i turned around and i had um you know the pita bread when i had uh went to this uh mediterranean restaurant they had that hot you know uh bread that they bake out the oven which is kind of good for you because it's unleavened bread it has no yeast in it so you know you're pretty good you're good on that you know anyway i don't do too much of it because i just didn't want to have no carb and it just simply y'all called called the uh Atkins diet, the Atkins diet, the low carb diet. You know, the waist just come, it just comes down. The waistline comes down, flat out, you know. And I know I could do all the other extra stuff with it, as far as the um, apple cider and vinegar and stuff like that. However, y'all, it is a difference in taking apple cider vinegar pills uh, versus drinking apple cider vinegar. I'd rather drink the apple cider vinegar uh, because the pills make my it, it messed my stomach up and caused acid reflux, which caused my heart to beat funny because of the acid reflux and gas that was like shooting back up towards my heart. Mm -mm, bump that. All right. I left that alone real quick. Matter of fact, that was like the second day. I got a whole bottle of those. I don't mess with them. So it is a difference in the, uh, those pills. They got something else in them, y'all. It ain't just apple cider vinegar. They always got to add stuff and pick people up. Anyway. Um... Also, um, when you drink in the apple cider vinegar, I probably told y'all this before in my other videos, but though you are who new to the channel, always drink apple cider vinegar with a straw. Um, you don't want to mess the enamel or your teeth up. You know, if you coming down and you losing weight and everything, um, that's good to have a nice shape, but you also want them white teeth okay you want them teeth to be uh looking nice because uh with a nice shape and some jacked up teeth i think i'd rather stay fat and keep all my my teeth in my mouth i'm sorry um teeth is on okay but so when you're taking that you just make sure uh you're um drinking it with a straw all right okay so this is the pot of cabbage that i'm going to wash and the sink. And this is the uh, two packs of Eckridge turkey sausage that I bought. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, this meal is quick, it's easy, it's low carb. Um, you can have it, it's good. Um, it's a good way to get your kids to eat vegetables too, because my kids, <laughs> especially Terrell, Terrell is not a vegetable eater. He's been like that ever since he was little. They make that boy eat um, vegetables. I wasn't the type of mother to shove vegetables in my kid's mouth if they didn't like it or anything they did not like. I wasn't the type to make them sit at the table all day and, uh, you know, eat their vegetables. I wasn't that type. You don't like it, you don't like it. You know, flat out. I was done like that. 
I'm pretty sure my grandmother, when she would clean her table, she would wonder, where did all those smushed things of liver get smashed up under my table? That was me. I used to sit in front of my grandfather. He used to make us eat liver. And boy, I'd ease it out of my mouth and smush it up under the table. Boy, I was praying to God it wouldn't fall on the floor while I was sitting there. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, I don't never force them. But anyway, this is a good way to get them to eat vegetables. Now, Terrell, he, really, he, likes, he likes my green beans and white potatoes. Especially, like, you know, when we do it the way we do it, you know, with the, uh, smoked meat in it and stuff like that. He eats collard greens, you know. Um, he likes salad, but then he'll eat it with tons of salad dressing to kill out the salad. I don't know, he's just funny when it comes to vegetables. So this is another um, way to, I would do to get him to eat the vegetable. And um, they do, it, it works. Um, you know, he, he wouldn't eat a lot of cabbage. He would be the type that would come back and pick out the meat. <laughs> The papa's tail, picking all my meat out the doggone uh, thing. Okay, that's one already cut up. Now we're going up to this pack. And um, we're cutting up. It's not much, like I said, to this meal. It's just the simple fact that I, I deal with it. I just wanted to show y'all, so. There it is, all in the pot, boiling, cooking. I don't have it filled to the top with water because this type of stove, as you can see the way it heats, it will boil over. So I'm waiting for the cabbage to soften and sink inside the pot and I may or am going to add a little to water because those sausages are going to end up sinking down in the pot as well. Anyway, remember when I said that it was going to sink down into the pot? I didn't even really have to add no more water to that, but I am going to add garlic pepper. Y'all know me. I said I love my garlic pepper right, 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 right. And I'm going to, um, or Lori seasoning salt. Super soft. I'm just gonna stir it in. And just some, um, oh, I'm gonna try and get this pepper open. Pepper. I'll just put right down in there. See that? And uh, I, don't, I don't like to put, I put all my seasoning on top so it can just cook through. I want that cabbage softer than that. Cabbage that could fall, baby. Take long get off for that. But like I said, I usually put that with some cornbread and a yellow rice. But I'm low carbon at y'all. That's what I'm doing. Low carbon. Oh, I like this light the way it's shining. Oh, Queen Grace was cute. So. That's how you make cabbage chicken pasta and I'm done with this video and all that type of stuff like that. Like my hair, I flexi routed it. Kind of like this tight look, tight curl look. But when I got my hair tight like this, I don't want it long like that. I want it up, like, you know, kind of like that look. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to taste test this food, right? So look, y'all, I'm going to eat it. You ain't got to eat it. You ain't got to like it, Craig. You ain't got to like it. Wow! Mm. That's good, y'all. See? I could taste the garlic in it. I could eat the whole pot if I wanted to. I could taste won't the crunch wrap supreme. The Crunch Wrap Supreme, the $5 Triple Crunch Wrap Supreme box with the cinnamon twist. But y'all say I never cook at home, then when I do, look at y'all. Ma, it, mm. it's, it's not that, mm. it don't sound good right now. It's just no cornbread. Mm. Oh. See there? I got cornbread. I could have made some. Mm. So tempting. Cause I'm on a low carb, so I try to put everybody in the house to been at his friends since he asked me, can mom, can I spend a, one night at my friends? That's been since last week. I ain't worried about it. Oh y'all, this is so good to me. This is so good to my soul. Food for the soul.
back when I was coming up. Whatever my mama cooked, you ate, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and enjoy it, and I'm gonna take her to Taco Bell. Only because it's her money. <laughs> it's a catch in it, boo. Okay. Peace out, in Jesus' name. Be blessed. I hope you enjoyed this video.